Brothers and sisters, parallel to the 16 books of history in the Old Testament, we have one book of history in the New Testament, the Acts of the Apostles. It tells how the church was born, developed, and spread the word of Jesus throughout the world. Luke gives us two volumes. These two volumes are the Gospel of Luke, which tells the story of Jesus, and the Acts of the Apostles, which is written in a close parallel to the story of Jesus, for the church is called to be in the image and likeness of Jesus. At the end of the Gospel of Luke, Jesus ascends into heaven on the 40th day after the resurrection. And this event constitutes also the beginning of the Acts of the Apostles. In Jesus' last words to the disciple, he in fact gives the plan of the book. For he says to the disciples, You will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, in all Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. Jesus' ascension into heaven leaves an empty space which the disciples are called to fill. They must speak his words, do his actions, fill the world with his name, a name that will become their own, for he is the Christ, and they will be called Christians. We are here on Mount Zion because it is here that the body of disciples will receive the Holy Spirit, the same Spirit that descended on Jesus at his baptism in the Jordan. Filled with the Spirit, they will go out despite all danger and threat to proclaim the good news that Christ has been victorious over sin and death. Pentecost on Mount Zion, 50 days after the resurrection, the feast of the giving of the Spirit is the birthday of the church. It is the feast of the first fruits according to the Old Testament, and in the new, the gift of the Holy Spirit is the first fruit of the life, death, and resurrection of Jesus. In the Spirit, his disciples who have become apostles will walk erect and upright without fear. Like in the Gospel of Luke, also in the Acts of the Apostles, there are three geographical stages in the mission. The mission of Jesus begins in Galilee, passes through a long way to Jerusalem, and finally Jesus teaches in Jerusalem. In the Acts of the Apostles, the mission of the church begins in Jerusalem, and then the church sets off on a long way, passing through Samaria and the road going down to Gaza, through Lyd, Jaffa, and Caesarea, through Antioch, Asia Minor, and Greece. Finally, the church reaches Rome. However, the story of the Acts of the Apostles is an open story, for the mission of the church continues beyond the book, right until our present day, as the gospel fills the earth. The main character in the Acts of the Apostles is the Holy Spirit, directing the footsteps of the disciples who become apostles, making Jesus present wherever they go. The central actors in the drama are first Peter and then Paul, but we also get to know other heroic witnesses like Stephen, Philip, and James. The constant challenge as the church grows is to remain open, for God is drawing all nations into God's people. At the center of the Acts of the Apostles, the Council of Jerusalem underlines the vocation of the church. St. James, 
patron of the Church of Jerusalem, under the guidance of the Holy Spirit, basing himself firmly on the scriptures of the Old Testament, encourages all believers, whatever their background, to be one body that is the Church, animated by one Spirit. It is this body which continues to fill the world with the Gospel. The Acts of the Apostles is indeed an essential part of our story, for we are members of this body, the Church. Thank you.